Hey everybody. So um, I have an Anritsu ML 2437A power meter, and um, complete with sensor uh, that I've attached this attenuator to. But uh, let's take that off. There's a sensor. Uh, sensor is a uh, MA 2481D, and. Uh, so this works from 10 megahertz to 6 gigahertz, uh, negative 60 to plus 20 uh, dBm. Um, and uh, this was a like literally 300 and some odd dollar eBay score, which you know is unheard of for a power meter. I mean, uh, it was a new listing. I saw it. It was just a no-brainer. Buy it now to boot. Just sold. So just gonna quickly demonstrate what you do with one of these beasts. So you're going to turn it on and uh, we need to uh, plug in the power sensor. Okay, sensor's not zeroed. It's not happy because it needs to be zeroed. Um, I don't know if this is really the display of this is really visible. I'm trying to make this display visible. Um, this doesn't seem like uh, it's not backlit, which is kind of unfortunate. So, what we'll do is put the power sensor in here and we'll zero it. So, we need to go to Cal and zero. We need to zero it. Um, I'm pushing the wrong buttons. So it's dots are going, it's thinking about it. So at some point we should uh, we should be good. Now if we go into here and turn on the RF, you can see that it's reading the internal reference now, uh, which is showing 0.0, .0 dBm, which it should. Um, and that's, of course, just, you know, picking up whatever the sensor is seeing, just stray stuff. So, um, anyway, so now we'll... Um, We'll actually connect it to something. So what I'll do is um, show how you would connect this to a radio. So we'll put this to the to the side and try to get some light so that we can see this blasted thing. It's not really the greatest of light in here. So what I have here now is the power sensor and a 30 dB attenuator. So I'm going to attach this to the attenuator. Now this isn't the best thing, um, you know, because uh, the attenuator is this isn't exactly a precision attenuator. It seems like, you know, whatever, um, you know, something I got from somewhere. I don't know AliExpress or something. But anyway, I did measure it, and um, it's surprisingly good. It's like 29.9 dB or something like that. It's really close. So um, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to get a radio. Um, bring the power sensor around here. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to connect this to the device uh, that you want to measure the power. And if you remember what I said before, think of 60 to plus 20 dBm. That's never going to work. Um, you know, because you get four or five watts coming out of the radio. If you do the, you know, rough math on that, I mean, th that this is going to cook this power sensor. It's instant, instant destruction. Um, so we need to attenuate that. So we put four or five watts into this 30 dB attenuator. We're going to get, like, um, you know, rough math, uh, a milliwatts or something out of that. Uh, you know, it's going to be very low. So what we're going to do is we're going to attach it to this radio, and I've got an adapter um, 
So we've got this is not the be, this is not the most optimal way to do this. This is just demonstration. Um, this is totally um, you know not calibrated really in any way, shape, or form. So we'll um, power this SSB 980. This is a stock radio, so we're going to measure this stock radio's output power. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in here and we're going to say, um, let's change the units to watts. Um, oh, where do you get to that? Um, we want to go to, I think, uh, offset. There we go. So we want an offset of 30 dB. Uh, So we've got a 30, t 30 dB offset there now. I, I really, I'm sorry guys, I just don't know how visible this really is. Um, so we got 30 dB offset. We go back here. This is reading, you know, 200 nanowatts. Um, so I'm gonna turn this radio on. Radio's already on, it's on channel 20. I'm just gonna key this microphone through this attenuator. We're gonna measure what this radio puts out. The radio puts out four. Oh, it's picking up my voice. So, um, don't know where on here you get the mic gain. Uh, don't know how this radio works. I think you got to transmit. There you go. And turn the mic gain down. So, okay, channel 20. Uh, now I can, eh. I guess it's still picking up my voice a little bit. I'm trying to hold the microphone in at the vent so it doesn't pick anything up, but that's that's its output power. Um, it's about four, which makes sense. It's a stock radio, so, um, you know, four watts. No big deal. So that's my latest edition. Um, you know, nothing really too special. Um, and also, um, while I'm at it, this is the little Salie knockoff logic analyzer that I... Uh, uh, talked about in, in the comments one of uh, Buddy Radio Shop's videos, um, and I got a couple of these, and I've just got the metallic, you know, tape covering all these leads and just mini grabbers. Um, that's pretty much, pretty much all there is to these really like cheap eight, six, eight U.S. dollar uh, logic analyzers. Really, not a whole lot in them. And it's a board that the case comes apart really. It's actually very constructed very well. The, the case sucks, but. It's decent construction, surprisingly. So that's pretty much what it is. Um, got a few of them. They work good. Um, can't complain. So anyways, that's all for now. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time.